Flynn, who was the campaign director in this election. Also Sean Kemp, a former advisor to Nick Clegg. So in a sense, uh, two losers on either side here. <laughs> Let me come to Patrick uh, uh, or Flynn first. Uh, taking the point there that you're a second in 120 seats now, sometimes not a very good second, but you mm -hmm. are second. Here's the problem, though. Mm -hmm. There won't be another election for five years now, almost certainly. Mm -hmm. Five years is a long time for an insurgent party to have to wait. Well, that would be true were there nothing else to do, Andrew. But obviously next year we have the Welsh Assembly elections, the Greater London Assembly and the Scottish Parliamentary elections. You, and don't, then, do well, you don't do well in any of these. Well, I think you ought to watch the Welsh Assembly yep. elections in particular where we're going to do spectacularly well. And by 2017 we know we've got something else to do little matter of an in-out EU referendum and now the guy who's promised it has got no excuse whatsoever not to deliver it and I can tell you once the dust has settled on this election by the middle of next week the in-out in EU referendum is going to become by far the biggest story in British politics. But if, if Mr Cameron does deliver it and mm -hmm. we have a referendum and we vote mm -hmm. one way or the other either way is, isn't your party out of a job then you've lost your raison d'etre. I think either way the opposite. Really? If we win the referendum, we've won. Well, it'd be Mr. Cameron. That would be fantastic. Well. well, no, because he expects to lead the let's stay in. The oh, I see. By winning, you mean we'd vote to come out? Indeed. If we were to lose the referendum, well, we've seen what's happened to the SNP in Scotland who've lost the referendum. They've gone on in parliamentary terms yes. on but rocket fuel. So there's yeah. potential uh, way forward you, there as well. You wouldn't just disband. I mean, if you've won the referendum mm. to come out, mm. you wouldn't just disband in yourselves? What, what's no, your purpose? No, I, I think uh, a few years ago there'd be a good proportion of UKIPers who might say I'll go and right. tend the roses, but now we've become <laughs> a fully fledged no. political party with, no, with don't lots, have roses. <laughs> lots of different uh, policy ideas right. who really connected with a big segment of public opinion. Doesn't the party take a major hit? if Nigel Farage is no longer your leader. I mean, whether people loved him or loathed him, wherever, he was a larger-than-life character for many people, particularly your passionate supporters. Yep. He was the embodiment of UKIP. Yes, he took us from a 3% share of the vote at the last general election and a handful you know, of, of third places to 13%, 3.8 million votes, mm. winning the European elections last year. Uh, you know, all those second places to attack at the next election. So can you really continue with that? Well, he, he's taken the party a huge way, but he's also built a team around him. And he says UKIP's not a one-man band, and that is clearly right. There's, there's a, an emerging generation of talent in UKIP which, which can take the is, party on even further, I Is think. he definitely standing down? Is he definitely ceasing to be leader? Uh, he is definitely standing down as leader. He's invited Suzanne to be interim leader. Suzanne Evans. Suzanne Evans, who, who was, made an right. amazing contribution in this election Continue campaign. the process for me. She and is then, interim leader. She's interim leader. Then we expect there to be a leadership contest in the early autumn. Could he stand again? He could stand again, he could couldn't stand he? Again. That would be, so you know, like he, 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 he hasn't ruled that out. <laughs> well, Understandably, you... he's looking to take some time out and, and reflect I'm, on things. Aren't we all? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> we're, 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 um, would you stand? Well, look, I've said that politics is a team game and you don't have to be the captain of the team to make a major contribution. And I think everyone at a senior yeah. level in UKIP okay. needs to reflect not on ego, but on who is best placed right. to take us on even beyond the great success we've had already. Forgive me, but I'm not sure if that's a yes or a no. No, it's a bit Delphic, isn't it? <laughs> it is I a bit Delphic, which means reflect. that you're getting like all the other parties now. Oh, you've no, be, you've no, come no. of age despite a, a rather poor performance. Speaking of poor performance.